Now, you, if you have some object and it's not moving, then that must mean if there's a force here and a force here and here and here, they all cancel, right? Now, if you had something like this, and you had a force here and a force here, you say, oh, cancels, it's not moving. But we know it rotates. So, there's a little bit more to it. If you have some uh, mass here and it's not moving, it means the forces to the right and the left cancel, that's true. And the forces up and down cancel, that's true. But also, if there is a turn in force clockwise, uh, anti-clockwise, it must equal uh, the turn in force clockwise. That if you want something not to move, you need three things. Up must equal down, left must equal right, and if there's a clockwise turn in force, then there must be an anti-clockwise to balance it. So everything needs to balance, including any turn in effect. Okay? This gives us the concept of what's called equilibrium. We say an object is in the equilibrium if the total net force and turning force is zero. Therefore, oh, why the heck? I don't know. No. No. I don't like my letters. Uh, okay, you can change them. Uh, why did I write L? I think I showed you the, the letter last time for turning force, didn't I? Do you remember what it is? Force times distance, what letter do I write here? Maybe I didn't actually say yeah, it so clearly. Yeah, it's this symbol. This means turn in force. It's called torque. It's a Greek letter. Greek letter tau. I think it was. I, I never said it out loud. Yeah, it's a Greek letter tau. You know your Greek letters? This one? Gamma, Sigma, Delta, Delta, <laughs> Epsilon, Epsilon, Iota, Sigma, Eta, Pi, Omega, Psi. You, you know, you'll have to start learning these. Anyways, this one is Tau. Okay. Right. So here's the definition. Can you just change that L to Tau, please? Should be a tau. Yeah? Have you heard of this Greek letter tau? No? But it's always rotating. What is? The earth. So many objects. True. It's also moving too, you yeah. know. This is um something Einstein and Newton too and other people taught about a lot. Relativity? Yeah. So really uh, the best you can do is you can say you can appear stationary yeah. to an observer. It's not really clear if you can be stationary. Yeah, you take that's the, the thing, yeah. yeah. Okay, did you write that definition out of equilibrium? Uh, is this a new word, equilibrium? Or? No, not really. No? New for you, uh, Lynn? Yeah. yeah. Chemistry. Came up in chemistry already? Yeah. No, not yet. Not yet. It has um, in what, reactions or something? Yeah. What, what chemical reactions? reactions? Hmm? The letter tau looks like that. Yeah, well, that's how I write it anyway. Like a J button, the Yeah, or as he said, a C with a lot on top. Yeah, you got that? Yeah? Yeah? Continue? Are you, are you writing, Diego? Or do you need a minute? Yeah, okay. The last point is known as the principle of moments. That is, the sum of the clockwise moments equals the sum of the anti-clockwise moments. 
So I, I just I just want to make a, a stronger point on that. Come on. Okay. The this formula uh, clockwise is that way. Anti-clockwise is that way. This last point is actually called the principle of moments. You can just write that name beside the last formula. It says if it's an equilibrium then the clockwise should equal the anti-clockwise. It's not very difficult, right? It makes sense, yeah? Um, Fandles stole the fiber optic cable for the signal box. Now this is a disadvantage of using fiber optic over copper because my physics teacher said they, they like to use copper so that they can keep it on 24-7. So if you try to steal it, you get electrocuted if you try to pull it out. You know? So fiber optic is great the problem is it's not dangerous enough. You can just yeah. pull it out of the box. At least with copper, you have to risk being electrocuted if you want to steal the copper. So, yeah. disadvantage. <laughs> right. Um, here's a simple enough question. A 40 kilogram boy sits at one end of a 100 kilogram seesaw and his sister of 30 sits at the other end and the pivot is in the center of the five meter seesaw but it's not balanced, so it rotates. So normally, okay, what you have at the beginning is a picture like this. And here's the boy. And here's the girl. And uh, what did we say he was? He's 40 kilograms, mm -hmm. and she's 30 kilograms. And the seesaw is actually 100 kilograms. Now what will happen is uh, this will rotate this way, no sorry, this will go this way and this will go this way. Mm -hmm. So the whole system will rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise? Anti-clockwise. Anti so what we need to do is we need to move this so we can balance them. So naturally do you feel like it should be moved to the left or to the right? To the left. To the left because what you would like to do which force is precisely now, Diego? The one from the key down to the key. Yeah, but what's this force called? Principle of moment. Yeah, the moment force, the torque. You want the turning effect caused by the boy to equal the turning effect caused by uh, the girl. Sorry, she, although the system turns to the right, she is trying to make it turn down. So. Maybe just to prevent confusion, I would write it like this. The problem is his turning force is bigger than hers. So in total, it wins. His wins. Okay. So we want them to be equal, to balance it. This is the principle of moments. So um, if this distance we call x from here to here, what will this distance be? It'll be 5 minus x because in the question I said it's 5 meters. Okay. His force is uh, 40 G. Her force is 30 G. But you have to be careful. There's one force now that is affecting the whole system. The 100 G of the, the seesaw. So, in fact, what's happening is the seesaw is going to help her turn it down on the right to cancel uh, his movement. So we need to get this distance here. Uh, now, if here to here is x, who can tell me what this little distance is here? Anyone can see what that is? Let me help you out. What's the distance from here to here? 
No, no, no. Here to here. 2.5. Because in the middle, right? Yeah. And what's the distance here to here that we say? X. So what's the distance here to here? 2.5. 2.5 minus X. Okay. So what we'll do, whoa, we'll have a look at the total turning force ante. That should equal the total turning force clock. Yeah? How much is his turning force? 40 times 9.81, and I don't need to type it in just yet. Uh, 40 times 9.81 times x. Yes? Where am I taking, oh, uh, yeah, where am I taking the pivot, the fulcrum? Right here. It's going to turn here, isn't it? Yeah? Okay. Now you tell me, uh, what is the girl's turning force? 30 g uh, 30 times 9.81 times 5 minus x but there is another yeah plus yeah 100 times 9.81 oh goodness so we'll have to calculate this distance won't we so that will be 5 minus x plus 2.5 minus x. It's those two distances, yeah? Huh? Is that right? 2.5 plus... Oh, no, sorry, I'm doing something wrong. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's, yeah, it's 2.5 minus x plus 2.5. Isn't it? 2.5 minus x plus 2.5. Yeah, sorry, so it should be... So you have a question. No. 2.5. No, I think it said 5 in the question. Well, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm being stupid. Sorry, 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 sorry. What am I doing? No, hang on. Some coffee is needed. Right. The distance from here to here, how much? 2.5. And the distance from here to here. And I should add them, correct? Yes, it's 9. 2.5. No, nobody's stopping my stupidity. The distance is just 2.5 minus x. Sorry, what am I doing? It's this distance. Isn't it? Yeah, sorry, I just had a mental breakdown. I was kept thinking of the girl at the end of the seesaw, and I should be thinking about the, the, the force here. Sorry, I made, I made a total pig's dinner of that. Um, I'll just draw the picture again here. Here's the, the pivot, okay? There's one force here from the boy, okay? There's one force here from the girl, and then there's one force here, which is the weight. And the distances I should be using is this distance, yes? And then this distance, yes? And then finally, this distance because it's turning around this point it's turning around this point and it's turning around this point is that okay now you sure i'm sorry i made a dog's dinner of that uh but anyways we get this formula and then we can just solve for x yeah so mm, i tell you what uh just write down the equation and we'll pick this up after lunch. We're in this room? Oh, so I have to move my stuff. Okay.
Yeah. It's center of gravity. Hmm. Yeah, which is the middle of the, s the five meters. Do you know what? I'll just do this example again. We'll redraw it after lunch. I made a total <laughs> talk dinner of it. I don't have many examples to do. Uh, it's just uh, this one. Three examples. Yeah. Are we okay with that? Yeah, we'll continue after lunch. I think food is needed. Food is needed. <laughs>